Is Windows 11 driving you crazy? Yeah, me too. The default experience feels clunky, slow, and honestly, pretty boring. But what if I told you five simple apps could completely transform how you use Windows? Today, I'm showing you five hidden gems that will make your Windows 11 setup faster, cleaner, and actually enjoyable to use. These aren't your typical top apps recommendations. These are the ones nobody talks about, but everyone should be using. Stick around because app number three literally changed how I work and I guarantee you you've never heard of it and if this helps you out smash that like button and subscribe for more Windows tips that actually work. Now app number one is called Flow Launcher and what it does it opens this kind of search window and here you can search for apps, files, Windows settings and more. Let's say you want to open an app, for example, Microsoft Edge. Here, you will just open the Flow Launcher by clicking Alt plus space on your keyboard. And here, you will type in Microsoft Edge. And now you can just click on it and it should open this application. Now it's super cool because here in the Windows settings in the system tray, you guys can open the settings for the Flow Launcher. And here you will be able to actually add plugins to your Flow Launcher. For example, currently my Flow Launcher can do browser bookmarks, calculate things, search the Explorer. Then we have the process killer programs, URLs, and also Windows settings. However, if you want to add even more functionality, you guys will click on plugin store here. And now you can see how many of the other other plugins there are. For example, you guys can use date calculator and even wallpaper engine profile selector. Down below we have Reddit browser, timestamps and many other options as well like the obsidian. Here you can go also under the appearance and change its color. For example, you guys can go here under the theme and select for example Discord dark color and this is what the window currently looks like. It looks super sleek. However, down below you can also change the blur settings, which are major settings for this app. So here down below, you can see backdrop type. Currently it's set to acrylic. However, if you want to change this, you guys will have to click on Windows 11 here or Windows 10. And then here you can pick whatever option you prefer. For example, Mika Alt looks like this, has this really nice blur effect on it. So I think it's super cool app, which you must install on any Windows 11 computer. And in my personal opinion, it's totally totally underrated. Now, the next app, it's called Files app, which you guys can download from their website or from the Microsoft Store. And Files app, it's basically File Explorer alternative with additional features as well as more nicer UI elements. Now, here on top, you guys can see that this File Explorer replacement also has tabs and you guys can click here on plus and it will open a new tab. Then here on the first page, you guys can quickly see quick access shortcuts, drives, network locations, and also recent files. Then on the left here, you will also have a menu similar to the file explorer one. Now here on top, you guys will see this menu bar on top where you can pretty much cut the file, copy it, rename it. And this one looks even better than the default file explorer. Now here on the right, you can toggle the preview here and the details. Overall, I think it looks super, super clean. If you want to go here to the settings, down below, you will find this advanced option where you can pretty much set this file explorer replacement as your default file manager. Now under the appearance, of course, you guys can customize it whatever you like. The themes and the backdrop styles are very similar to the Flow Launcher. For example, for the backdrop, you guys can change this to the acrylic as well, or even to the thin acrylic. And uh, then the theme, you guys can pick from light and dark options. And down below, you can also change the default background color. Now let's take a look here at how it looks. And right now I have enabled here the acrylic theme. Now you can pretty much see how this window actually responds to the background elements. For example, this wallpaper. Now I hope Microsoft will add this kind of look to the default file explorer in a future, maybe in Windows 12. Now the app which literally changed my workflow and how my Windows 11 actually looks. Now you can pretty much see here that this is default Windows 11. There's not much changed here. So here, if I click on this app, 
app which you must download from their website it's called windhawk and i will also put its link in the video description down below right below the like button and if you guys are enjoying this type of content make sure that you hit the subscribe button as well now here on this app you guys will see here a few of the mods which you can pretty much install with this application now the one which i highly recommended for you to install it's called windows 11 taskbar styler now make sure that you click on this option to enable it or if you go here to the details you guys will first have to install it on your computer and then here you can go to the settings and you can see here that you can change the theme now this theme which i have set currently it's called to dock like for example we can pick here this one which i also quite like it's called taskbar 12 you can click on it and then click on save settings and this is how the taskbar actually looks like right now i know it's a bit misaligned but i think sh this should be fixed in the next upcoming releases of this mod now you can also enable for example simply transparent and this is how my taskbar looks like right here. Now we can also go, for example, with the Windows Vista. And this is what my taskbar looks like at the moment. Now here are also a few more mods which you must install. The one which I also quite like is called Windows 11 Start Menu Styler. So you can go here pretty much to the details. Click on install, accept risk and install and just wait for a few seconds for this to finish installing on your computer. You guys will go here to the settings and change the theme. The one which I highly recommend is called this one right here. It's called down arrow. You guys can click on it and click on save settings. And now if I open my start menu, this is what this one looks like. It looks super clean. It has this search bar at the top, pinned apps right here and also all of the apps down below. So yeah, I think it looks super super sleek and this windhawk application i recommend anyone with windows 11. now the app number four it's called zam browser and this is my default browser of choice now this browser is based on firefox or mainly on gecko which is firefox engine and this is what it looks like on windows in my opinion it looks super sleek it has this acrylic or Mika effect here on the left and on the top. Now it also has some additional features like if you go here to the settings down below you can go here and now under the look and feel you can pretty much change this browser layout. You can put it to single layout which looks like this. It has the URL bar here on top and now if you go here you guys can see the collapse toolbar or even multiple toolbars. Now, this is not all because if you have this option enabled, you guys can right click here and enable the compact mode. And now you can only see this website. And now if I hover my mouse over the left edge, you guys will see that the tabs actually pop up. So this browser is heavily inspired by the Arc browser. And uh, this one is open source. And as I mentioned, Firefox based, and it also supports the uBlock origin extension, which I think it's super handy to use. Now I will leave its download link in the video description down below and now let's go straight to the last app on the list and this one is called Uniget UI which you guys can download from Microsoft Store or even from their GitHub page. It's super easy package manager which you can use to install applications, update your applications. Now let's say that you want to install VLC on your computer. You won't go to your browser but here inside Uniget UI, we'll just type in here VLC, click on the search window, and this should find here immediately a few of the packages to install. Now let's go with this one, which is right here, VLC Media Player. And now once you have it checked right here, you guys can just click here on install and click here on install as administrator. Now click yes here and down below you can see immediately this uh, script running and also that the VLC media player is actually installing on my computer. Now, meanwhile, this is doing its thing. You guys can also update packages. You guys can just click on software updates here and you guys can see here that I can update Microsoft Teams and also app installer. So here I will just select update and more and you guys can select here, update select selected packages and wait for a few seconds. Now you can see here that VLC media player is on my computer. I can also launch it and you guys can see it right here. So yeah, I think that Uniget UI, it's also a must install package manager for Windows 11 and I highly recommend it. Now with that said, I think that this is pretty much it for five underrated apps on Windows 11 that make it actually enjoyable to use. 
Now, if you enjoyed this video, make sure that you smash up the like button on this one and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And uh, with that said, I will see you all around in the next one.